Hey guys, Kev Prettier, and welcome to my Elite Car Control tutorial. Today, we'll work on drills that'll develop 360 degree control of your car so that you can mirror the likes of Devo, Squishy, and Cuxer. Since the last advanced car control about six months ago, I've been using these drills I've developed to heighten my level to score goals like these. Short disclaimer, this is gonna be a PC tutorial only as we're gonna use parkour map number one on the Steam Workshop. Link will be down below. And we're going to start with level 1.11 for the first section. So we're going to do just like my last tutorial in the slalom without using air roll. And for each drill, we're going to slalom back and forth using the small pillars. I'd recommend the small ones over the big ones as they can kind of interfere with the camera. And first drill, we're going to start with upright aerials and only use aerial to stay upright. Just to make those little adjustments to keep the shell of the car facing you. I'll usually run there back and forth and then move on to drill two, backwards aerials. The focus here is moving as fast and controlled as possible, working on efficient movement. Think about the pros and how they reach a ball so quickly, hitting it how they want to. That's the level we're working towards, so focus on that. Next, drill three is sideways aerials. We're gonna pick a side and then go there and back. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna do it again, but you're gonna alternate sides. And the focus here is not just to pitch your nose up and down, but really work on using the full range of your motion, using the left stick, pulling it to the left, to the right, so that you can speed up, slow down, and look for those blackout moments like I talked about in my advanced car control tutorial. That way we can focus on developing the best technique for your muscle memory which requires a lot of focus in daily repetition. You're quote unquote, rewiring your brain every session to create incremental improvement in your technique. Moving on to drill four, the wandering solemn, no arrow. So this was one of the warm up drills in my last car control tutorial. We're gonna try to throw in as many crazy non arrow twists as you can and truly test your control. Look for those blackout moments and see if you can really express yourself uh, if you're wanting to do something can you immediately do it that's the level we're trying to get to so this will really push you now master here will help you hit great angle shots especially for redirects and it'll help you recover from shot recoil for double taps so whenever you're setting yourself up for a double tap you'll notice that you get a little bit of recoil when you set yourself up um, so being able to recover from flips and stuff like that will really help your game let you open up a whole new world of high level technique. Drill five is one of my favorites, the Solemn, but we're gonna do it with cucks or twists. Now how you do this is you hold air roll and you hold left stick diagonally down. This is for most users. Obviously I do air roll left and right. You're just gonna hold left stick down while holding air roll button. And you're gonna do a half twist each time. This will let you familiarize yourself with the rotations of the car and how you can move your car left and right while doing an air roll. So you can see here, I'm using the bigger pillars here. It's a little more difficult, but as you progress, this is something that you might be able to do. And the huge focus here is on sharp turns and doing these at speed. You wanna build the best technique, the best muscle memory. Moving on to the next drill, slalom reverse cucks or twists. So we're gonna do the opposite movement from the previous drill. And for normal air roll users, you want to hold air roll and pull the stick diagonally up for this reverse cucks or twist. If you use air roll left, air roll right, you're holding the stick up. Now again, we're going to do half twist to turn left and right, and then alternate sides after a run through. Now this technique is great for striking the ball down into the side. So it's a great thing to have in your car control arsenal. All right, drill seven and eight, tornado spins. So this will only be for arrow left and right users. And the first tornado spin will be holding arrow right and pulling left stick to the right, or vice versa, left and left. That's how I remember it, right, right, left, left. Very useful skill for redirects and uh, aiming the shot down. Now we're gonna do drill eight, and that's the opposite. We're gonna go back and forth. We're gonna do right and left, left and right. This one's really useful for just cushioning the ball for something like a double tap.
Drill 9 is the Wandering Solemn with Arrow. Now we're going to bring in all the movements that we've learned. The Tornado Spins, the Cuxer Twists, non-Arrow movements. And throwing every single movement into the pile. And you want to create a seamless freestyle. Now, as you can see here, I've had a lot of practice at this. I've been doing this for six months since the last advanced car control tutorial. And you can see the level of control I've developed. You can too. It just requires a little bit of focus, a lot of repetition. I do about 20 minutes. I just go through a routine every day. And this is what I can do now. All right, section two of this tutorial, we're gonna be focusing on being able to boost down and have that control. This is a skill a lot of pros don't even have because there hasn't been a great way to train this until parkour map number one. So you can see there I was able to boost down and to the side. In this example, you'll see myself be able to use a twist and boost down. And in this last example, we're gonna see myself set up a double tap with a ceiling curve. I'll see myself use quite a bit of boost down control there to score that goal. Overall, a pretty cool skill to have. So we're gonna work in level 1.12, a reverse gravity environment. And I'm gonna give you a warning, this is not gonna be easy. You're gonna flop about for a while before getting a hang of it. But we're gonna work on all four directional movements. First, you see me working upside down. Now once I do that, hit the yellow cone, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna do right side up. Again, focusing on efficient movement. This is about several months of practice here that I developed this level of control. And then working on the sideways movements as well. All right, so for my routine, I just like to be able to do one clean run through each way. Try to keep as much control as possible. Oops, looks like I lost control there. Redo it. I right, just want to give you an accurate representation of what my skill looks like and what you can expect from yourself after a few months of work. Right? The majority of the improvement is going to be at the beginning, but as you work through it, you'll get better and better and you'll learn all the different movements and develop 360 degree control like I promised at the beginning of my video. There we go. All right, once you're done hitting both sides, we're going to move to drill 11. Uh, this will be level 1.15, and it's another reverse gravity environment. A little tougher in my opinion, but it has a little more variation because you can enter through the right side of the spiral or the left side. And we're going to hit all four directional movements, starting with upside down aerials. I'll go through it from the right, hit the cone, and then I'll redo it, go through the left side of the spiral. And I'm just going to speed this up so that you can see my routine. I usually do one on the right, one on the left with upside down aerials like you see here, right side up aerials, and then doing sideways aerials for a total of eight clean runs. So if you do achieve mastery here with the four directional movements, I would recommend just moving on to some freestyles where you're throwing in things like cuxer twists, tornadoes, and really trying to develop that level of elite car control Again, this is a skill not a lot of pros have, so this will really set you apart. All right, so for the last drill, drill 12, we're gonna go to level 1.18. And here we're gonna just bring together everything we've learned in no gravity environments. So I usually do a first run without arrow, and then I'll do another one with arrow, and you can just kind of freestyle around. You wanna to try to get that 360 degree control. Be able to control your card down and upwards and all the different permutations of non aero movement. So this wouldn't be a Kevpert card control <laughs> tutorial if it didn't have training plans. So first uh, I'll present to you a 20 minute routine that I do pretty much every day. and. It's a pretty good warm up. You just start with level 1.11, which is the pillars. Uh, that's five minutes of non aero solemns, then five minutes with aero. And then doing level 1.12, 1.15, those are the reverse gravity environments. And just doing that for seven minutes, trying to hit all four directional movements. And then doing level 1.18, just doing three minutes of freestyle, as you can see myself do in the background here. Uh, that just brings all those different techniques together. Uh, and hopefully, you can get a seamless freestyle going. So that'll wrap up this elite car control tutorial. 
By doing that little bit of car control practice as part of your daily routine, you'll develop powerful muscle memory that'll allow you to score crazy goals like these. So, thanks for watching, and just a quick note, if you want to see more of me playing Rocket League and other games for fun, check out my girlfriend Shani's channel. We're always on there having a blast. Thanks, and best of luck on your improvement.